I do want to bring up interesting headline that I saw, and you will get a kick out of this. It said, Cowboys claim ex-Panthers quarterback as potential number two, which is really sneaky what they tried to do there because it's not Cam Newton. This would be one Will Greer. We talked about how bad the Dallas quarterback room was. They, uh, They did cut Gabbert, not Gabbert. Who was it? Somebody else. They cut somebody. I have no idea. I've, I've, I've paid zero attention to I'm going to tell you this. HBO is getting screwed in in the in their new Hard Knocks deal. It, I, if really? any team was going to be entertained. Have you watched any of it? I, I have not watched a single okay. bit of it. All right. Well, then that's why you think what you think. It's yeah. awful. It's it's unwatch for somebody who loves football and I watch I have never missed a hard knocks. I'm I'm kind of done. I'm it's bad. They did an entire episode where four to six minutes they were messing with the guy's contact lens. Like this is the level of content they're getting from these teams. And I think we're getting to a point where it's just they're not getting the access. Because I still think we have the storylines that we've always had. We're just not getting the access. There was also, an episode, God, this might have been recent, where, like, we don't have enough Micah Parsons in there, and, and, and we have, you know, none of this guy. And so, like, Vander Ash goes to Parsons' house, and they play Connect Four. Like, <laughs> and that's what we're, like, we're done. I'm done. Did, did Jerry done. Jones just not allow them to to record anything? I, well, I, don't, not I have no anything? idea. I, I'm going to tell you, if you ever wanted to get the Patriots, that last year was your chance because there are certain rules. You can't have a new head coach, and you have to miss the playoffs. I don't know how long it's going to be before you're going to be able to get Bill again. And it could have been a thing where we don't want Bill because we don't think they're going to be good on TV, and he's not going to give us enough access. Well, what, I don't know what you got with the Cowboys, but that was garbage. Yeah. And, if, and, and I'm guessing they assumed Cowboys bring a cachet name. I would have gone to Jacksonville because you got a dumb dumb running that place that loves the camera and he'll tell you anything. Just go ask the union reps. He's not afraid to say shit. Okay, I can understand this. It, it kind of makes me want. But anyway, watch it now. neither neither here nor there. It's awful to watch. But with that being said, I, I don't care anything about the Cowboys. Yeah. If Dak Prescott is healthy, they are going to be fun and they are going to be they're going to be good. I, I, think, I believe Dak's that good. I do think if Will Dak Greer not, can be fun. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I need to see it. I I liked Will Greer. I was high on Will Greer coming out of college. I, I, I think I was wrong there. And if Dak is not there, I don't want to watch one second of the count. I hope all these teams that got them on prime time can flex out of them because it's going to be bad. I can I can imagine that. It was Garrett Gilbert, not Gla- uh, Gabbard. I was thinking about Miami of Ohio's uh, quarterback. But, uh, but, yeah, it's Garrett Gilbert that was cut. Uh, ben DiNucci was released, but then he was signed back to the practice squad. Cooper Rush is the only signal caller behind Dak. And now, of course, we've got Will Greer. I did find it funny that they used the Cowboys claim ex-Panthers uh, quarterback as potential number two. And I was like, man, well, that just, is... This is just, we've reached a new low when it comes to headline writing. Oh, yeah, I mean, the, just, the clickbait stuff is... I mean, it, it did its job. I mean, it gets people to click, but... Just ridiculous. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.